It's now time for Trivia Tracks with yours truly, Price Robertson. This edition of Trivia Tracks is brought to you by ProMed Ambulance Services, care you can count on, and Beth Smith at Edward Jones. Edward Jones, making sense of investing, member SIPC. Nicknamed the King of Comedy, Jerry Lewis garnered worldwide fame as both a solo act and as Dean Martin's zany sidekick. He appeared in over 50 movies, including the first 16 with Martin. His work won him several accolades, including two stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. But like all of us, the man who went on to raise billions for charity had his faults. He was born Joseph Levitch on March 16, 1926, in Newark, New Jersey. He grew up in a show business family. His father, Danny, was a vaudevillian. His mother, Ray, was a pianist for radio station WOR in New York. In his teenage years, Lewis was known for pulling pranks in his neighborhood. Lewis said that he ceased using the names Joseph and Joey as an adult to avoid being confused with Joe E. Lewis, that's L-E-W-I-S, and Joe Lewis, in this case spelled L-O-U-I-S. By age 15, Jerry, who dropped out of high school, had developed his so-called record act, miming lyrics to songs while a photograph played off stage. He landed a gig at a burlesque house in Buffalo. But his performance fell flat, and he was unable to book any more shows. To make ends meet, Lewis worked as a soda jerk and a theater rusher for Jean Plachette, father of actress Suzanne Plachette. A burlesque comedian named Max Coleman, who had worked with Lewis's father years before, persuaded him to try again. Irving Kay, a borch belt comedian, discovered Lewis at Brown's Hotel in Lock Sheldrake, New York the following summer. The audience was so enthusiastic that Kay became Lewis's manager and guardian for borch belt appearances. During World War II, Lewis was rejected from military service because of a heart murmur. In 1945, one year after he married his first wife, singer Patty Palmer, the 19-year-old Lewis met 27-year-old singer Dean Martin at the Glass Hat Club in New York City where the two performed until they debuted at Atlantic City's 500 Club as Martin and Lewis in July 1946. The duo gained attention as a double act, with Martin serving as the straight man to Lewis's loony antics. It wasn't long before radio, TV, and the movies came calling. A young Norman Lear was hired to write material for the duo. Ed Simmons was Lear's writing partner. By 1956, Martin and Lewis wanted to pursue other horizons, and the pair split. Only twice did the two reunite including when Martin lost his son, Dean Paul Martin, in a plane crash in March 1987. The two continued to keep a quiet friendship until Martin's death in December 1995. On his own, Lewis starred in and or directed several hit movies, including the 1963 smash The Nutty Professor. He was also an early and prominent user of Video Assist, the system used in filmmaking that allows filmmakers to view and distribute a video version immediately after it is filmed. On set, the location where the assist is reviewed is called a video village. In 1983, he started the movie The King of Comedy, playing opposite Robert De Niro, which earned Lewis a BAFTA Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor. On television, Lewis hosted his own talk and variety show, which ran 20 years, and presided over 45 Labor Day telethons, benefiting the Muscular Dystrophy Association, a run that spanned four decades. Lewis's second marriage was to Sandra Pitnick, known as Sandy. That's capital S A N, capital D, double D. He fathered eight children including Gary Lewis, best known as leader of Gary Lewis and the Playboys, and Danielle, whom he adopted with his second wife. Jerry Lewis kept on working in his advancing age, but his lifelong health problems had started to catch up with him. On August 20th, 2017, the veteran performer died at his Las Vegas home at the age of 91. His last film role was as a newly widowed jazz musician in 2016's Max Rose. At the time of his death, Lewis was set to star in a movie called Defining Moments, which never made production. Till next time, I'm Price Robertson. Amazed by today's trivia? Then join me for Trivia Tracks weekdays at 645 on Everybody's Country, Y95.